Hey guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel I hope you're absolutely well. In this video I'm to show you how to transform a photography logo from hard copy to digital copy. If you really like this video then give a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe for latest videos. So let's start the process. First import your sketch in Adobe Illustrator. Lock your reference image. Create a new layer above the first layer. In most cases I advise you to turn on the rulers when creating logos so click on view. Rulers then select show rulers. Select the rectangle tool and click on the artboard to create a rectangle. And adjust the stroke. Select a pen tool. As you move the pen tool over you notice a plus tool appears. If you hit on that line it will add a new point. So create 5 other points as shown. Select the scissor tool. Click on the points to cut or divide the rectangle. Use the selection tool to select and delete the other side on the rectangle. So if I choose a direct selection tool. Select the points and move them to create a camera-like shape. Select the shape and curve the corners to make the shape look realistic. On the control panel click on variable width profile and choose width profile 1. Increase the stroke if it's needed. We are now done with the camera frame now let's create the text. Select the type tool and type the company name. Use Geomonist font. Black font style and 74 font size. Hold Alt and drag the text to duplicate it. Select the company name, and click type, then create outlines. Click object, then ungroup. Use Ctrl plus to zoom in. Select O and resize it as shown. Click object, and select compound path, then release. Select the middle circle and fill it to any color of your choice. Select O, M, and L. Use the Shape Builder tool and press Alt to cut the shapes. Select O, click Edit, Copy. Then click Edit and Paste in front. Then resize the circle as shown. Change color from fill to stroke. Click edit, copy, then click edit and paste in front. Select outer circle then change color. Press shift to select the second circle. Use the shape builder tool and press alt to cut the shapes. Then resize the shapes. Select the middle circle, click edit, copy, then click edit and paste in front. Change fill to white, then resize it. Press alt and drag the shape to duplicate it. Select the circles. Use the Shape Builder tool and press Alt to cut the shapes. Change the fill if needed. 
Select both text and group them. Select Ellipse tool, press Alt plus Shift to draw a perfect circle as shown. Change color from fill to stroke change stroke size to 3. Select the circle and double click on the scale tool. Type 75% and click copy. Select the circle and use Ctrl plus to zoom in. Click edit. Copy. Then click edit and paste in front. Press Alt plus Shift to resize it as shown. Click edit. Copy. Then click edit and paste in front. Press Alt plus Shift and resize it as shown. Select the circle. Change color to fill. Press shift and select both circles as shown. Use the shape builder tool and press alt to cut the shapes. Select the smallest circle change the color to fill. Use the ellipse tool to draw a circle as shown. Click edit, copy, then click edit and paste in front. Drag the shape and resize it as shown. Select the shapes as shown, use the shape builder tool and press alt to cut the shapes. Now let's create the buttons. Select the rectangular tool, to draw a rectangle. Change the color to fill. Use the direct selection tool as shown. Select the rectangular tool, to draw a rectangle. Change the color to stroke. Click edit, copy, then click edit and paste in front. Then resize as shown. So change color to fill. Select the shape, press alt, and drag it to create a duplicate. Resize the shape as shown. If you have any question feel free to ask in the comment section below. Just spend some time practicing. So if this video was helpful to you like in a favor. And if you wanna see more videos like these please subscribe. Because I create videos like these every week on Monday. Thanks for watching.